All right, class. Hey, this is fitness day, sorry, fitness unit uh, day five. Uh, as far as working and learning some skills and stuff like that, hopefully you guys picked up the difference between the lectures and just the normal days. Um, so today we're gonna be working on some uh, crawling type things and just being able to build up those smaller muscles in our shoulders and hips, practice on some balance, um, gripping and actually grabbing, grabbing earth. Uh, and then we're gonna learn a new movement down at the end, but we're not gonna use that movement until tomorrow. So some of the times with this health and wellness and fitness stuff, you don't have to be fancy. You don't need all the equipment. You don't need weights or anything like that. You just need to know really control and tempo. So for today, we are going to start by crawling on the ground. So we're gonna be doing somewhat of a bear crawl. And so as we're doing that, I want you guys to see, I've got my shoulders over my wrist, just like we're in a push up. I've got my legs bent, right? I'm not up in a sting bug or anything like that. I wanna stay here, woo, in a bear crawl. And all I want you to do is walk across your, the room in a bear crawl, maybe take 10 steps or so, and then we're gonna sit through. So my foot's gonna go under, it's called a hip heist. I'm gonna take my foot under my body and I'm gonna end up kind of like in a crab walk, okay? So we go from this position here, foot goes under, I'm able to balance, get to a crab walk, foot comes back under, other hand comes up, foot goes under, I'm under control, place everything down with a purpose, pick it back up, come back through, okay? And then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna go back and forth across your room uh, about 10 times. Again, if you need to take breaks as you get from one side to the other, that's fine, but don't try not to be here and just like flop over and fall on your butt. Your butt, you're trying not to let your bottom touch the ground, okay? Under control, grabbing the ground, I'm balancing, this foot's off the ground, hips are off the ground, and I can control myself until I can want to put my uh, hand or my foot onto the ground. Okay, after you do that 10 times with a hip heist on either side at each end, so 20 total hip highs, walking across the room 10 times in a bear crawl. Uh, the other skill that we, I wanna work with you guys on is again, that transverse, but we're gonna go into a plank. So transverse means I'm keeping my body from twisting by taking opposite appendages off the ground. So in a plank, shoulders are right over my uh, wrist. I'm gonna have my feet wide about shoulder height or shoulder width. Get into this for a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm not gonna let my hips twist from side to side. I'm gonna sit right here and try picking up a hand and a foot and then controlling them back to the ground. Bracing that tummy, keeping it tight, bringing it back to the ground. I'm grabbing the ground with my fingers, okay? I'm not just posting on my wrist. If you have wrist discomfort, that might be why. Probably behind and you're just posted right at the butt of your hand. <clears throat> Shoulder over the hand, grabbing the ground, I'm dispersing my weight across my whole hand here. And that really allows me to practice on my balance and standard control. Okay, so you're gonna go back and forth like that for two minutes total. So if you take a break, uh, that's fine. I would have a stopwatch next to me and just do it for two minutes, just going back and forth. It's not about speed or how many times you switch. It's about how much control you have as you're performing the exercise, okay? So you got those two skill things and then we're gonna learn one movement today and then we'll practice it and do a workout with this tomorrow. It's just a good old fashioned burpee. You do not need equipment to be fit or healthy. Our burpee, okay, real burpee, start standing tall. I'm gonna put my hands directly to the ground and I'm basically falling down. I don't want to use energy to go down. Okay, just let gravity do its thing. So I'm gonna bend at the waist, hands are gonna go down, and I lay all the way to the ground. Okay, everything's touching the ground. On the way up, I'm gonna push my chest up. I'm gonna pop my hips and try to get my feet outside my hands. Up and jump. Okay, so fall.
I'm going all the way down to the ground. I'm standing all the way back up, giving a little jump. Okay, full range of motion. Nothing crazy. Be ready to do lots of those tomorrow.